The universal camera track consists of a long rail mounted on a couple of tripods and it has a traveler that carries the camera and all the electronics. The traveler is connected to the rail also by a timing belt and that timing belt runs in a serpentine way around the DC motor contained in the electronics and to the other end of the track so that when the DC motor runs it will pull that traveler along the track either up or down. The traveler rides on eight bearings there are two on each corner one fits under a 45 degree edge on the rail the other one fits on top of the rail and this gives both lateral and vertical stability to the traveler. The top bearing on each corner is connected directly to the traveler using a machine screw. Bearing on the bottom which rides on the 45 degree angle edge is connected to the traveler with an aluminum axle made out of aluminum bar. And that aluminum bar is about one inch wider than the traveler is. The aluminum axle is bent at a 45 degree angle about one inch from the end and a hole is drilled to fit the machine screw that holds the bearing on. When the bearing is mounted it ends up being at a 90 degree angle with the 45 degree edge of the rail. The traveler carries all of the electronics, a tripod mount to mount the camera, and the electronics to activate the arm which triggers the camera. The tripod mount is a inexpensive Cowboy Studio tripod mount. It has a quick release head and there is a quick release uh, plate attached to an L bracket which also holds a servo motor for activating the camera. The electronics package consists of a DC motor, an Arduino board, a motor controller, and a couple of rheostats which control motor and the frequency of the shutter release. In addition, the serpentine timing belt runs around the DC motor and an idler pulley. The entire electronics package is housed in a U-shaped piece of plexiglass that was bent just by heating along a line where the bends were needed. The electronics package has a plug to attach to an external power supply or in my case a battery power supply that was created using a Makita rechargeable battery uh, mounted into a block of wood with some connectors. The timing belt is held at each end by cutting two uh, slots into blocks of wood that are attached to the end of the rail and the timing belt is wound in a serpentine manner to keep it tight and make it easy to remove. In practice the electronics cause the DC motor to drive the traveler. They also activate the servo motor to trigger the camera. And that repeats itself until you shut it off. The lever arm which is activated by the servo motor is just a 12 gauge piece of copper wire bent to fit to the uh, release on the camera and it's padded by a couple of pieces of stick-on foam so that it won't damage the camera surface. In addition, there's a little tab soldered onto that that connects to the servo motor. 
The servo motor is connected to the L bracket and wired into the motor controller. In addition, a nylon hinge is connected to the arm which activates the shutter release. So in use, what kind of video can we get from a contraption like this? We'll just look over the uh, construction project here a little bit and at the end of that I'll put on a video that was shot at this location using this tool and uh, putting it together with Vegas Movie Studio after editing the stills with uh, Corel PaintShop Pro. This project was uh, intended to be a universal motor slider and I think I've accomplished that task. You can put just about any kind of camera on this that you can uh, trigger with your finger on the shutter release. You simply have to bend the copper wire so it fits your shutter release. Thanks for watching.